Good morning. Good morning, um, garden family. This is uh, Mama Mac, and uh, I'm here just to give a quick uh, comment about the hydroponic tank. Lead, you are so correct when you said um, that you had to purchase different portions of it. Now, mine was a gift, and unbeknownst to me, the um, tank that I have didn't come with the system. So um, it was the aquarium had to be purchased extra. And I didn't know that until I asked the giver uh, of this system. So not only was it, it was purchased for four other different other friends. So the, the system, which consists of the entire body, hydrocorns, came with the 155. And just as Led pointed out, the tank is extra. The light is extra. Um, and you can see that I have rigged my light system up because... I purchased one that was too wide for it. But because of, I know I'm not um, getting ready to take it back, which I should, but I didn't. I just rigged it up and it works just fine. I can move it up or down, up or down. But these are the, the hangers that the light are, is supposed to go on. So I put some light little string here on it. And when it became so that it kept sliding down on one side, I put a rubber band there to keep it closed. And um, this is what my tank looks like. This is what I have in it. Uh, this is a house plant. And this is, I'm just noticing it. It is doing a really well and I'm glad because I'm going to put it back in the tank. I mean back in the pot. It started to die and wither and because it was so it's not a house plant. Yeah, it, no it's not. That's mint. <laughs> Here's the little house plant. Can y'all see that right here? That's the little house plant. But that's mint. This is mint. Mint, mint, mint. And if I touch it, the aroma is just like powerful. And this little piece right here is so high, it was underneath the the uh, light and it was had burned it, so I moved it. So um, I'm going to start clipping the mint uh, and put it in water or do whatever. And over here, I have parsley. And little Mac has... Uh, a guinea pig and she loves these little the the um, the parsley but look how strong the root is and um the other day this is these are hydrocorns and that's just stuff but it's clay uh, and it just keeps the uh the roots tied to something <clears throat> but a little Mac Put this carrot in. The one that I put in, I took it out because it was getting mushy at the bottom and I didn't like that. But she put, <laughs> I came here, I said, well, did you put another one in there? She was like, yes, ma'am. So that's her little carrot. Um, And just to try something, I put, um, we went to a, a place uh, with her trip. One is called the Blanchard Caves, and uh, with her class, and I found a uh, what is that called? A nut. So I'm like, it's a hazelnut. So I'm like, huh? Let's stick it in there and see what it's gonna do. But most of my things in here is let's stick it in here and see what happens. Okay. All of my fish are gone. Um, they keep getting caught on this suction deal. It's one on this side and one on the other. And I bought this piece of um, 
uh, artificial plant to try to keep them away. But it looks like I'm going to have to put something right here as well. But uh, my tank is on um, uh, intimate, intermediate where it's going to come on. And then the, the tank is, I'll show you. And the, the tank here is going to fill with water. And the hydrocorns just hold everything in place. That's the outtake intake valve. We have two outtakes, one here and one here. And this is where it's coming from. Where'd it go? It's a little, oh, here it is. That's where the water is going down. Okay. I wish I could smell this mint. It's absolutely beautiful. And our school system, every school has a garden and I the mint that I initially had in here this summer I put it outside and we've had rain now for the past three days and my garden is flooded so I'm gonna have to move it um, my garden and I lost my mint and uh, little Mac all she did was put take a little bit of mint from the garden with permission and uh, we just stuck it in here. There was no hole to be dug. We just moved some hydrocorn out of the way and stuck it down in there. And this is what we got. Okay. So, we're excited. And, uh, Liv, you are absolutely right. You have to buy the tank. But I've seen other people with um, big plastic containers. And if I find that video, I don't know how to share pictures and, and links. Maybe I don't have the viewership in order to do that, but uh, I can put it in the comments when I find that video again. That someone made their hydroponic system with uh, those huge gallon um, uh, plastic tubs. And it's been working fine for them. It's probably less expensive than this, but uh, I enjoy the system, and my next experiment is to try to figure out how to keep the fish alive. I think because we're by buy, we're buying feeder fish, they're not their life expectancy is not as great as the other one, other bigger goldfish, and one of the other families that this was purchased for, actually one that purchased this for me, they have the larger round goldfish. They probably spent like $30 for their goldfish. So they got a little bit more endurance than the feeder fish. So, um, but I've had luck with feeder fish. Alrighty. So, um, I have some more seeds that I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant. I have cauliflower. And I saw uh, Diva Jones. She has something out. Uh, a video about cauliflower. And I have lettuce. So I think, um, I'm gonna take this, put this in, uh, cut this up, put it in uh, some water to make room possibly for some lettuce to see how this lettuce is going to grow in um, my tank since it's getting a little cool outside. And I'll save this cauliflower for next year. But I want some lettuce and I want some collard <laughs> for Thanksgiving. And I'm gonna get it one way. Alrighty. Uh, <clears throat> well, that's two max. Well, minus the other one still sleep. Alrighty. See y'all later. Peace.